Hello and welcome. When you consider this logarithmic equation, you will see that for the product of these two quantities to be negative, then log to base 3 of x must be negative. Because for all real values of x, this square root must be positive. So that means that log to base 3 of x must be less than 0. And of course, from here, x must be less than 3 to the power 0. So x must be less than 1. And given that we are dealing with logarithms, 0 must be less than x, which in turn must be less than 1. So this is the range of values within which the solution to this logarithmic equation must fall. Now to solve this logarithmic equation, let us write this as log to base x of 3 x to the power half multiplied by log to base 3 of x and of course the product is equal to minus 1. Applying the power law we can bring this half down to become a multiplier. So this can also be written as half multiplied by log to base x of 3 x multiplied by log to base 3 of x and everything is equal to minus 1. Now of course you can see that this is a product. Remember that when we have log a b that this is equal to log a plus log b. So this is equal to half multiplied by log to base x of 3 plus log to base x of x. Of course, multiplied by log to base 3 of x. And this is still equal to minus 1. But let us remember that log to base x of x is equal to 1. So this is equal to half multiplied by log to base x of 3 plus 1 multiplied by log to base 3 of x and this is equal to minus 1. Next, let us divide both sides of this equation by log to base 3 of x. When we do that, we have that half multiplied by log to base x of 3 plus 1 is equal to minus 1 divided by log to base 3 of x. At this point, let us also remember that log to base a of b is equal to 1 over log to base b of a. So this can be written as half multiplied by 1 over log to base Three of x plus 1 and this is equal to minus 1 over log to base 3 of x. Now you can see log to base 3 of x and log to base 3 of x. So b equal to d and with this substitution this equation becomes half into 1 over d plus 1 is equal to minus 1 over d. Now to get rid of this square root, let us square both sides of this equation. Of course, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with half into 1 over d plus 1 is equal to 1 over d squared. Opening this bracket, we have 1 over 2d plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over d squared. And combining these two fractions into 1, we have 1 times 2, that is 2, plus 2d times 1, that is 2d, divided by 2d times 2, that is 4 
d and of course this is equal to 1 over d squared now cross multiplying we have 2 d squared plus 2 d cubed is equal to 4 d rearranging this equation we have 2 d cubed plus 2 d squared minus 4 d is equal to 0 we can divide through the equation by 2. When we do that, we have d cubed minus d squared minus, sorry, this is plus, minus 2d is equal to 0. And of course, we can solve this cubic equation by factorization. First of all, we have a common factor, which is d. So we have d into d squared minus 2. Now we can further factorize this. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 2 that add up to 1. And of course, those are 2 and minus 1. Because 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So this will give us d into d plus 2 and d minus 1 is equal to 0 and of course from here we have that either d is equal to 0 or d plus 2 is equal to 0 or d minus 1 is equal to 0 that is d is equal to 0 or minus 2 or plus 1. But remember that log to base 3 of x is equal to d. So now we have that either log to base 3 of x is equal to 0, minus 2, or 1. And of course, this simply means that x is equal to 3 to the power 0, or x is equal to 3 to the power minus 2 or x is equal to 3 to the power 1. So we have that x is equal to 1 or 1 over 3 squared which is equal to 1 over 9 or 3. We have three values for x but then remember this constraint which says that x must lie within 0 and 1. So this is out and this is out, leaving us with x equal to 1 over 9 as the solution to this logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.